Hey there, it's Bill here with JK Southwest, where we do all things Jeep. We document all of our travels, and we talk a little bit of gear and tech. This time we're talking the Metal Cloak CTI trailer, so stick around. So if you're anything like me, you've made a bunch of suspension changes to your Jeep. And most of those changes are aimed at increasing the off-road performance. But how do you know if those changes you made are really doing what they're supposed to? Well, one way is to get on the Metal Cloak CTI trailer. And that's just what we did earlier this year at the Winter 4x4 Jamboree in Hurricane, Utah. The CTI trailer measures corner travel index. And it's the maximum axle and wheel articulation at the four corners of the vehicle. A vehicle with a higher CTI score offers greater potential off-road performance as it will maintain more constant contact with the ground while you're traveling over obstacles. So a little basic information about my Jeep. I'm running a JKS 3.5 inch lift. It's their J-Crawl suspension, so it has all eight adjustable control arms. I also have their adjustable track bars front and rear, and I'm running a Synergy steering setup with uh, the stock uh, sway bar disconnect that the Rubicon offers. Now I consider my setup to be pretty factory, pretty stock setup in that I'm still using short arms and they're still mounted in the factory locations. None of the brackets have been cut off and I'm not running any long arms. Another big advantage of getting on the CTI trailer is checking for any binding or interference issues you may have in your suspension. So enough talk, let's get on the trailer. Corey and Jesse spend their days traveling across the country, setting up the trailer at events throughout the year. Corey has tested thousands of vehicles on the trailer, and he knows the most common areas to check for problems. So we're looking for things like the track bar being pushed up into the body, the extended springs falling out of their perches, incorrect lengths on the sway bar end links, are the brake lines long enough, do the control arms bind, do the tires rub the fenders. Moving around the Jeep, we're able to check all four corners of the vehicle. Are the bump stops correct? Are the shocks the right length? You get to see just how well everything's working together. Uh, good news for us is everything looked good. Our shock setup was right on. There was no interference anywhere. The tire wasn't rubbing on the fender or the frame and uh, our brake lines were long enough, so I'm super happy with the setup. So how did we score? Well, we scored an even 800, and that's a score I'm super pleased with, considering this is a off-the-shelf suspension, it's not custom by any means, I installed it myself in the driveway. Everything looks good. We're getting plenty of flex for the trails that I like to do. And now moving forward, if we make any changes to the suspension, we can always get back on the CTI trailer and see what the difference is. We can see if our score improves or if the upgrades we made are causing any problems. 
Now, if you've had the chance to get your Jeep on the CTI trailer, I would love to know the, how you scored. Let me know down in the comments below how your rig did. Well, that's it for this week. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.